Well, how do the chums to say, Captain of the Steves, and I'm on phase three of this expedition. Yes, and I'm now looking a little bit like Johnny Five from Short Circuit. Well, let's go inside of the old expedition tab. Let's have a gander at phase three. Let's see if there's anything in here, anything to ought. Listen to the void, current objective, construct blueprints, blah de blah, blah blah Listen to the void, okay, fine. Okay, eliminate corrupted sentinels. Well, that's going to be fun. We've got to kill 19 of the little gits. Okay, that could be interesting. Assemble the third construction part. Nice. We've got this one here. Uh, fine. Uh, right here. And there's no others that seem to be outside of that slightly. I mean, yes, I've got to earn some nanites. All good. Okay, right. Fine. Well, let's uh, press on on then, shall we, people? So let's hit on up this one. So we're going to be completing the third pilgrimage. Lovely jobs. Okay, let's go do that. Awesome. Killing the 19 sentinels. That's something I've got to keep in mind. Now, we did get a load of Neutrion sort of blasters, and I've installed them all located here, and my damage potential has gone through the freaking roof. I need to charge this thing up. Okay, just charge it with some carbon. Done. Okay, not quite done. And still not quite done. Okay, we've got, we've got to get some more carbon, people. That's all right. We can shoot the planet when we get there. Anyway, let's make sure we've got this marker set. So there we are. It's definitely set. Ah, galaxy map. Okay. Open up the galaxy map. It looks like we're making a jump. Hopefully I've got some warp fuel inside my warp drive. And I do. <laughs> I was waiting for that angry message to appear to say, yeah, you ain't got no warp fuel. All right. Can I make it all the way there? Freaking can, mate. Freaking can. See you in the system, people. Hello. Well, well, we've arrived, Kated. Here we are. Brilliant. Okay, I'll put on some music for you people inside the viewerverse as well. Hopefully that's coming through quite lovely. Heck yes. Right. Okay. Oh, I've got it a little bit high on my laptop. I don't want you to have an echo. There you go. You're probably hearing me clicking around on my old mouse. Anyway, let's have a view on over here and let's head on down to here. Now, somebody has told me that if you press left or right on your D-pad as you're getting near to landing in the approximate location, sometimes it actually deviates and shows you where you should be landing. So I'm going to be giving that a go. Because I always thought that it just hit sun up the nearest NPC ship. So I don't know whether this is quite a decent tip or not, but I'm going to be putting it to the test. And you know what, because this is a five week long sort of jaunt, I'm probably going to be putting together my top tips video for this as well at some point. Okay, that's, that's something I really wish that we could change, is filtering out everybody's comms balls and also base markers, because it does lock on to stuff quite a lot. But you see there, we've got this comms ball pop up here, I've got a feeling that I just need to go to the where this comms ball is, to be honest. Usually the first one that pops up is usually the point of interest. So there we are. We're going to be going there. All right, we're going there anyway. I think this is going to be the rendezvous point. So we couldn't really put that actual top tip to a top test. Because <laughs> I just got top freaking lucky, mate. Anyway, let's uh, jump on out of the ship and let's run on up to this third rendezvous point. You know what? This is one of those corrupted sort of sentinel welds. And you see over there... They're corrupted freaking sentinels, mate. So you know what? I'm I'm right near to where I need to be. I'm going to go test out this new freaking gun. I guess I am. And oh, so it's not 100% charged, is it? No, it's not. Oh, well, well we're going to go pick on these sentinels anyway. Now, I have heard that some, some people are having some really dodgy bugs with this. So I was away in London. So all I could do is watch other people's videos while I was in London. And uh, yeah, I saw Professor Cynical saying that a lot of these planets you land on don't give you corrupted sentinels, they bring out the freaking normal sentinels and you can't get your 19 as much as you freaking try. So um, yeah, there seems to be a little bit of a bug out there, but you know what, I just got lucky. And I found these, where well, you saw where I found them, I found them right by the freaking rendezvous point. And what I would also say to you people inside of your bus, um, let, let's go and select the right freaking mission because otherwise it might go a bit weird. Look, it's registered free of 19. Let's see what happens here then. Boom! Now I am on the latest patch release as well, peeps. So, oh, fudging heck! What the? Where'd you get that flamethrower from, you sneaky man, sneak, sneak? Okay, well, you can have some of that as well. Freaking have it. All right, let's get my shields topped up by shooting that. I'm going to shoot you as well, matey. Do you count as being a corrupted sentinel? I hope you do. That would be freaking nice, wouldn't it? Boom! Oh, I should have left that one. But my shields are already tip top and awesome. All right, fine. Moderate, second wave. Oh, watch out, Triceratops. I don't want to kill you, mate. You're freaking majestic and awesome. Heck, yes, you are. Okay, right. 
freaking take this sentinel scum okay well it's gonna take me a while to get up to 19 of these but you know what it's probably fun for you guys taking part in actually watching this isn't it Let, let's see if it goes all squiffy anyway it's not gonna take me long to get 19 of them anyway i was half thinking about maybe cutting some of the footage well you know what no Let's, let's just do this. Let's just do this live so you can see whether I do come across the bugs. Because it wasn't just Professor Cynical that I saw that had an issue with this. I saw Beeble also doing this as well. But he was in his ship shooting at Sentinels from his ship. And I don't know whether that's going to count. It, it should count. It should register. But I'm going to do it all on foot and see if we can sort of circumvent that. And see if I've managed to find a nice little way of getting this freaking badge to bloody work. Alright. Go, cool. come on, bring it on, Sentinel Scutters. I'm ready for you. I am the captain of the Steves. Right, here we go. Oh, cool. They brought in a big one. Come on then, mate. Freaking have it. Yeah, I'm going to stand on this rock and I'm going to freaking annihilate you. Yeah, so Scottish Rod also told me if you just stand on something quite high, <laughs> then they can't really get you. Uh, was it Scottish Rod or was it Wolfie? It was one of them. Yeah, one of my regulars. I get loads of tips sent over to me. Captain Steve, try this. Captain Steve, try that. So, yeah, sorry if I've misquoted whoever gave me that tip. But you know who you are. You're awesome. Heck, yes, you are. So I'm just going to stand up. Oh, no, I'm still getting shot. I'm still getting shot in the frickin' backside. There's somebody behind me shooting me in the frickin' rectum. Okay, take this, you, you frickin' arse shooter. Okay, okay. But you did see that. He jumped at me. What frickin'... I didn't know there were choo-choos with jumpers. Frickin' take that, you, you little freaking get what where'd you come from freaking get okay oh you want something fudge it you freaking bit me freaking get back okay right there we go boom um right so we're on 16 of 19 now people we already got to kill three more i'm gonna take you out as well freaking hazardous floor what are you looking at you freaking you want some have it freaking have it large mate okay cool holy fudge there's a whole freaking swarm of them okay right take this you Right, well, I only need to kill 19, but I might go to town and freaking get my hold of a whole freaking load of them. Um, that is a big one. Okay, we, we, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Boom! Freaking. Ah! You bit me! Right, bring it. Run away. Okay, we've done it. There you go, the badge has worked. Rampancy complete. I didn't have any problems with that badge, people. No problems whatsoever. Now, I am running on the latest patch on PlayStation 5, even though it got delayed on PlayStation 5, people. Rather than it jump to the base version that everybody was waiting for, no. If you look at the actual release screen, we got one of the latest bug fixes. So yeah, thank you very much, PC players and and uh, Microsoft players and all that sort of stuff, and the Mac or Mac players for um, bug testing it. Because you know what, mate? You done as a solid. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, anyway, I will be doing a review of all of this sort of squiffiness and the bugs that have sort of come with it. But to be honest, I haven't encountered many. So we'll see how my review turns out, shall we, peeps? But yeah, keep on tuned, because I can't really do a review until I get to the end of this freaking thing. And yes, I'm only on phase three, because I went away. Went away to London's. Well, live stuff got in the way, but it's a five-week thing, I guess. Anyways, let's head on up to the rendezvous point and let's pop that badge as well. Lovely. Oh, look, there we go. So the actual rampancy badge only popped once I got away from the Sentinels and I lost they lost sight of me. So I'm gonna go into here and hopefully pop another badge now, people. Right, budget, I'm gonna interact with this thing. There we go. Boom! Yes, we got a load of gibberish. We like gibberish, I guess we do. Alright, we're fine. Okay, well let's stick that in. Um did I just knack this one up for doing that? I probably have. Have I? Am I at the right rendezvous point? It says I've got to go... Oh, fudging heck, it's not the right rendezvous point. It was just a freaking stray comms ball then, was it? All right, fine. So I'm not quite there yet. Anyway, we'll pop this badge for rampancy. Why the fudge not? Heck yes, we got ourselves a live support module. Live support module, heck yes. Righto, where's my bloody ship gone? And a shield module. I mean, I could sell, I could sell those and get a shed load of freaking nanites and pop the other badge, couldn't I? But we'll get to that in a minute, because I think I've got a sneaky way to get a shed load of nanites really quite quickly. Um, which, yeah, we'll see if I can make use of that. Anyway, I'm going to shoot the planet for a while, get some carbon. Give them, give me some carbon. Carbon, carbon, lovely carbon. Anyway, we're going to be heading over here. Let's see if that little cheat works. Press left. See, it did. It just locked onto a freaking NPC ship. So it didn't work for me. So I, I'm, I'm going to land here. And I bet it's over there where that comms board is or something. Or is that a settlement? You know what? I'm not going to trust comms boards. Let's just use our sweep scanner and let's see what happens. 
All right, so we're going to get 130 U's that way. Okay, where is that actually in taking me? It's taking me due south, slightly south, easterly, 1,300 U's. Now, another thing that, um, which is a uh, Professor Cynical said, is his sweep scanner has been taking him round in, in circles. I haven't had that really happen to me. Um, and it hasn't really took me the weirdest of routes. I mean, yeah, I went and landed at the top of a frickin' peak of a mountain in the last episode. I made it hard for myself. I nearly frickin' died in my previous episode just because of where I chose to land because of bloody comms balls. But yeah, that was my own stupid fault. I don't think that was the ga game. I'm just going to see if it still takes me due south. I am coming across quite a lot of these weird gravity storms where you can just use your jetpack, like, infinitely. It does sort of scupper your whole sort of melee strafe jumping, but you know what? It, it's not too bad. Anyway, it's going to take me... Freaking ages to get to where I've got to get to. My well, little things. What's this? What the fudge is that? What the heck's this? What the actual fudge is this? I haven't seen this before. Have you seen this? I haven't seen this before. What the, what the prime fudge is this? I, I found a wild phage out in the wilds. And okay. Well, hello, mate. How are you? Drink their foam. Yeah, sounds sounds like a lovely plan. The tenth. All right, fine. Okay, we've already managed to descrambleize that. But what the actual fudge? I've not come across one of these before. That's, that's new to me, anyway. It's new to it's new to me. All right. Um. There's a second one. There's a freaking second one here. All right. Fine. And he's given me a load of this stuff. Feed lost circuits. Yeah, I'm just giving me. All right. Oh, okay. Cool. I think we've already deciphered all of these as well. The fourth. All right, thank you very much for your gibberish as well. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, just press on on then. That was random, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm going to just carry on. I'm still going southeasterly. I've still got to go like 1,000 freaking U's or whatever. And I'll see you in a moment, people. Okay, people, well, I think I've spotted it. It's just over here. Now, I've pretty much flown here the whole time. It's been in one of these storms. Oh, something else to mention. As you see, like, um, my jetpack, I've got the purple sort of trails that I equipped last time working fine for me as well. I've had a lot of people say that they're bugged out for them, they can't actually apply them, they can't find them in the appearance modifier. In episode 2, I showed them where I can find them on PlayStation 5. I'm not going to say that that's working on every single freaking platform, because, you know, even every single platform still hasn't got the update. I'm hearing some people on PlayStation 4 saying that they have got the update, and other people on PlayStation 4 saying they haven't got the update. So I don't know whether it's region-based or what. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, let's go on over here. Let's talk to this little phage. Hello, mate. Pro damaged for thingy my things. Okay, one plus one is two. Two, um, three, away from eleven is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, so that's eight, eight. Okay, so two, eight, and thirteen. Two, eight, thirteen. Two, eight, thirteen. Two, eight, thirteen. Yeah, I have to repeat it to myself. Two, eight, thirteen. Okay, cool. Two, eight, Ba ba bam, bate, boom, and we're done. Sweet. Now I am hearing a lot of people saying that this gets a bit repetitive. It does. Yeah. A fan slowly whirls into life somewhere in the autophage's shell. A slow pulsing whine. Go. Give me said whine. That goes. The atlas does not care. Prime void glass. It's all the same cycle. Free from the glassy abyss. Final hours, download. Really? Okay, Prime, Void, or Glass? Hmm. There's Corvax Prime, but I've also heard of a Void Prime. I'm wondering whether the Corvax Prime... Oh, I, I, I just keep all the lore stuff. Keep all the lore stuff for another episode, Steve. Yeah, mum's a word. Go on, there we go. The data is far better conditioned than the rusty remains of its housing would suggest. Its third component, a shell, to go with the construct schematics I have already recovered. Brilliant! Uh, right, I need magnetized ferrite. Okay, well, we'll make sure we've got that before we leave this planet. Crystallized sulfide. We, we can only get that in oceans. I don't know whether this planet has got water. We'll go check that in a moment. Life support gel. I should be able to craft some of that as well. All right, but let's pop the badges and let's see if we get given some of that lovely stuff because that would be freaking lovely if we did. We just got given a thousand freaking nanites, mate. I think I might have just gone and popped the last badge to get all the freaking nanites because I was pretty close to that title anyway. Boom. 
Okay, right, we've just got a thousand nanites for that. Nice. Well, let's hit this one up. In inventory is full. All right, fine. Well, you know what? I was going to sell some of this to get some nanites, but I don't think I really need to now. So let's stick all this into here for our shield, shall we? Oh, has that got adjacency? No, it's got adjacency bonus to this, Steve. So put that there. Put this there. Boom. Um, can I put that over there? Yes, I can. And I can put that there. Cool. All right, fine. And then we can grab this. We can stick that there. Boom. And we put that like that. We've got ourselves a massive boost. Heck yes, we do. Lovely jobs. All right, Claudio. And what about this one? Where can we stick that? Okay, well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? I, I can put it... I need to put it up with those ones. Okay, right. Well, let's um, let's do that over there. And sod it. I'm going to change my movement over. So now life support's going to get the boost. All right, that'll do for now. We can we work this as time goes on, people. I'm not overly fast. Right, well, let's uh, break all down this. See what else we get. Okay, well, let's install this then. Into the old multi -tool. Um, I need to put that near to the bolt caster. Guess what I don't have installed? I do have a bolt caster installed. There it is, boom. Put that there. Back to the exosuit. Grab another one of these. Stick that there as well. Lovely jubbly. Anything else from my exosuit that I can... Okay, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on here, people. Alright, fine. We'll just stick this anywhere because everything else is broken to frickin' shite. What about this one? Is that another one of those? Is that overloaded? Yes, it is. So we delete it. I could have unpackaged it, I know. Alright, well we can sell that one. Get some freaking nanites for it. Alright, lovely jobly. We'll do that then. Alright, and uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got a load of these. We can go to a station and stick those in. What about... Oh yeah, I need to sell that. Alright, well I don't think I can make much more free space inside of here. Uh, I can stick that inside my refiner. Well, I would have done. It wouldn't let me... Why can't I refine you? Has we got something else in here already? Yes, I've got pure ferrite. All right, well, let's uh, make some more pure ferrite, and we can turn that into magnetised ferrite. Brilliant! I forgot that I put a load of ferrite inside of there. All right, well, that's on the bake. Is there anything else I can get rid of inside of here? Oh, we need to make a load of life support gel. Need to make two of those. What do I need? I need some dehydrogen. Nice. Oh, dehydrogen gel is. All right, we'll make two of them then, mate. Brilliant. And I might as well ditch that to make my life support gels times two. Boom! We've got them! <sighs> oh, this has taken up quite a lot of space inside of my old infantry, isn't it? Can I uh, recharge myself? Can I, do I need to recharge myself? No, I don't even need to recharge myself, do I? Alright, okay, cool. Well, uh, let's get the magnetised ferrite out of here anyway. Well, pure ferrite. I'll put the pure ferrite into there to make magnetised ferrite in a second, people. I say a second. Seven seconds to be precise. Let's have a sip of my tea. Lovely. Don't mind if I do. Right. Okay, pick that up. Chuck that over there. Magnetised ferrite on the bake. That's going to take 54 seconds. Is there anything else I can do inside of here to get myself a bit of free space? How much space is in my ship? I've got quite a lot of space inside my ship. I need to bring my ship closer to I. There we go. And uh, let's, um... Did... What happened to you, mate? He just freaking died. Oh, no, a bone cat just got him. A bone cat just killed a triceratops in the background there, people. Freaking get back. You know what? I'm going to put everything that I think I might need inside of my starship. Everything that I don't want to delete because I'm worried that I might need it, I'm going to stick inside of my freaking starship. There we are. That's um, that's probably a wise idea, isn't it? So I, I, all this stuff in here, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say is probably expandable or expendable. But the rest of it, I'm gonna keep in here. That'll do. Now I should be able to pop those badges, shouldn't I? There we go. Bang. Click that. Sweet. All right. We need crystallized sulfide. Magnetized ferrite. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see if we've got the magnetized. Oh, we've run out of blinking fuel in the dang thing. All right, fine. There you go. Have some more fuel. Okay, that's only going to go for 36 seconds. Hopefully it's going to process it all. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I've got a new movement module. I'll install that. I guess I will. Let's stick that there. Bang. Nice. We're doing pretty good on the old exosuit and on the multi tool and on our ship. You know, it's it's going going okay. Okay, repack voltage amplifier. Okay, cool yeah. Fine, I can sell that. Get some nanites, why the fudge not? How close am I to popping that nanite? 
freaking only 500 nanites away, people in the view of us. 500 nanites away. All right, and we're nearly close to con constructing that. Now, what we could do is we could have a look to see if we can find ourselves some crystallized sulfide. I I'm not going to get lucky and find it sitting in a wheelbarrow. That's not going to happen. Um, but you never know. You never know. Let's have a little run around. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to find some ocean and go get some crystallized sulfide from inside of an ocean, people, inside of the other. So we'll go do that, I think. Um, we did hit up this autophage. We did get what we needed from it, the new blueprint part. So that living slime that I just got, we can stick that in there and get some nanites. It's going to take freaking time, but um, there we go. Let's stick that in there. But there we go, living slime. So if you have been picking all this stuff up, living slime does convert to runaway mold. Then the runaway mold does convert into nanites. We're not going to get a great deal of nanites from it. And this, you, you can put that through a load of recycles, and in the end, you get some nanites. We're not going to get a great deal of nanites. Heck no, you're not. Anyway, has this planet got water? That's why I was wondering. I think it might. I think it has got water. Let's go to a watery area on this planet then, people. Let's go get that crystallized sulfide, shall we? Oh, fudge. All right. Yes, I've still got some of that. Take on to the sky. Let's go and find some water on this lovely marble. Oh, there was some just over the hill, Steve. Some just over the freaking hill. All right, let's land on an island. Let's land on a nice little island. This little island here. This little island of mine. I'm going to make it shine. Yes, I am. Here we go. Let's land there then. And let's jump into the oceans, people. I think I might get this phase done a lot quicker than the other phases. All right, well, I didn't have the problems with killing the uh, 19 sentinels, though, did I? And look at that, I spotted the freaking sulfide straight away. So yeah, let's swim on down to here. So you see these nodules on the side of it? That's what you're after, you're looking for one of these things. It's got that icon on it. Oh, well, it's got a icon on it. I don't know about that one. You see, when it does this, get away from it because it's going to eject like that. Some people build chairs on top of those using a base computer and put a chair on it. You sit on the chair and it launches you into space. Yeah, like a space cannon. That's kind of what they call it, I think, space cannon. I haven't done it myself yet. I haven't bothered. Um, yeah, I saw quite a few people do it and I thought, oh, well, it's already out there now. There's no need for me to cover it again. All right, here we go. Let's go into here then. Let's see if we can actually create that now. Um, it looks like I'm creating it inside the ship. Why the fudge not? That's where all the other bits are. Done! Alright, well that's that's done then. Um, where's my ship gone? Where's my bloody ship marker? Yeah, I'm looking for my ship marker, mate. I can see I've got a badge. I, can see I, got a... I just jumped in the bloody ocean. I was right next to my pox. There it is. I can't see it for toffee. Too many markers everywhere. Alright, well let's get out of here then. And that's where you get your crystal sulfide from, people. In the ocean. Find one of those things. Bob's your uncle. I guess. Bob probably isn't your uncle. Let's go down here and let's pop that. Boom! Dundly done. Sweet! A shell to make a hole. Lovely. We've got some green and oh, we've got even more. Even more modules to install. Even more. We've got another shield module. I, 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 I can't even put it in. In my days. Oh, we've got, we've got six storage capacities to put in. So maybe we go back to a station towards the end of this video and do some upgrading, people. But for now, what badge have I got to do now? A commune with the Atlas. Okay, yeah, don't mind if I do. Let's go do that. Let's go commune with the Atlas. It's always fun talking to good old Atlas, isn't it? Yes. Okay, well, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What are we waiting around for? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, are my warp fuel? Yeah, it's still fully fueled. Fudging, this is nice, mate. Freaking nice. All right, let's press on on. Uh, let's follow the line. Yep, down that way. Yeah, one-handed navigation, mate. Yeah, I know. Multitasking, drinking tea, and going to the Atlas at the same time. I'm doing this with one hand. Just a, yeah, just a good point. Oh, what have I done? For fudge sake. I just proved a point. I went and touched the trackpad, didn't I? There you go. Done it. There you are. Normally I'd cut here, wouldn't I, and then reconvene when we get there. But just so you can see the loading times on the PlayStation, just so you can see how nice and quick they are. Why the fudge not? I've talked about this top for a while. I bought this in the Philippines. It's a regatta one. Nice little vest top, I guess. Nice little number. Lovely hat here too. You probably wonder what maker that is, isn't it? You probably wasn't, but you probably are now. But yeah, there we go. It's, it's, it's a London brand. Very good. Anyway, done. That's my little fashion segment with Captain Steve on the catwalk. Yeah. I knew my little town on the catwalk. Let's head on in to the Atlas. Brilliant. Okay. Well, it takes quite a while for this to go on. Technically, I should have just cut it and said, see you in the Atlas, mate, because this we've all seen like a billion times. 
Yeah, this tea's going quite nicely. Now, I suppose you see me drinking this cup of tea. You can see that I haven't really done hardly any editing on this video. I do like doing these raw approaches to videos. If you are liking this, hit that like. Let us know. That's a good cup of tea. I've already done. Hold on. Freaking boshed it, mate. Done! Yeah, I know. There's quite a lot of stains on the bottom of that mug. For some reason, these mugs that you get like from merch stores and things, they do stain rather easy. So what I do is I, I, I just get like one of those dishwasher tablets and stick it in it, like maybe once a month or something, and pour a load of hot water on it. Cleans it right up. Good as new. Okay, well, let's go on over here. Boom. Other people say use the Milton tablets, you know, like for cleaning and sterilising baby bottles. Apparently that gets stains out of cups really easy as well. Anyway, we're going to talk to the Atlas. I know, home, home tips freaking fashion tips again i spoil you people here we go anyway the autophage where i found the last construct schematic relayed a message of the void of the abyss of glass it kind of alludes to that perhaps the void and the abyss are the same place we, uh, more law for the law episode steve it accused the atlas of indifference and promised freedom but the construct is a shell it is not alive this is like building Frankenstein, isn't it? Present construct parts. Come on. The construct has no mind. It only a shell. I wonder, does the distinction matter to the Atlas? Does it even see the difference? Yeah, I think the Atlas knows, mate. It, you know, it asked, it's asked its actual creator for a copy of themselves. It's got the creator's consciousness staple to our soul shoulder inside of Talamon right now. So it knows freaking what AI is and all that sort of shenanigans. Trust me. The Atlas once again passed its incomprehensible verdict on my creation. Incomprehensible. Incomprehensible, I can do that word. On my presence at this interface. Well, thank you for your incomprehensible, whatever it was. Okay, shite, I've got to get the ionised cobalt. That means diving back into a bloody cave. I went and sold all my freaking surplus cobalt. Ah, oh, some biscuits, people. You do need cobalt again. I'm going to have to go spelunking now, aren't I? Okay, visited the first Atlas station. Yes, I did. Visit the first Atlas station. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, right, okay. I've got to craft this, but I need to go get a load of freaking ionised cobalt. You know what? I'm going to do a little salute to you people. I'm going to say, I'll see you in a moment. I'm going to go jump into a freaking cave and get some cobalt, and I'll see you inside that cave when I'm getting some cobalt. I'm going to go do it back on that planet where we just were, people. All right, see you in a moment. Actually, people, we jumped systems, didn't we, to go through the Atlas, so it's not back on that same planet. Um, so let's have a look for a nice one. You know what? We're going to go to the grassy one. We're going to go to the grassy one. It's got magnetized ferrite already on it. Could have just dug it out of the bloody ground in this area, couldn't I? But anyway, it's got ancient bowls. It's got it's got um, ancient bones, star bulb, and all that sort of stuff. It's that one. Exocor. I'll be down there, and I'm going to jump in a cave inside of that little planet over there, mate. Okay, well, I'm flying to the planet. I'm just going to put that runaway mold in. I'm going to get that turning into um, nanites. There you go. Got 10 nanites from that. Yeah, freaking mentals. Now, I'm going to need some more ferrite at some point. So, you know what? That rusted metal I've got sitting inside of my exosuit as well. That should turn into ferrite dust. Just stick that in there. Look at that. I'm getting two to one. So, I'd have that going on the bake as well. Anyway, I'm not in the cave yet. I'm still flying to the planet. Okay, well, I was flying over the planet, shooting the heck out of it, and I came across a cave. There is a cave just there. I think you can see it, that big sort of opening in the ground. That, sir, is a cave. So we're going to land right by said cave. Have I just landed in the cave? Uh, I might have done. Well, anyway, I shot the planet. I've got a load of carbon, got some dehydrogen, stuff like that. Now we're going to go jump inside of this cave, and hopefully we're going to find ourselves some cobalt inside. Oh, for fudge's sake. That's got to be the most shallowest cave ever. I mean, there is some cobalt there, people, but come on, that's 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 um, that takes the freaking Michael slightly, doesn't it? Hijacked laser. Yeah, I was looking for mining laser. I'm still not used to that. All right. Okay. Well, that's a freaking joke, isn't it? Hold on. Can I go through this foliage? Is there more cave? Ooh, there is more cave full of freaking water. All right, fine. Oh, there's a secondary element on this one. I'm gonna have that. Then. Let's see what we get for a secondary element on here. Boom! Dehydrogen. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Okay, there's, there is a little bit of cobalt to be had here. I don't know whether it's enough to turn into the cobalt that we need, but we're going to give it a go, people! Heck yes, we are. I'm also going to show you how to get yourself a few extra nanites or something, people, while we're inside of here. Boom! Alright, okay. Let's just zap these. Let's get a bit more cobalt over there. Lovely. You're probably wondering, Captain Steve, how are you going to get nanites in a cave? Well, I'm going to cheat a little bit. 
Right, there we go, boom, and boom, and take that out as well. Lovely jobs. All right, cool, done. All right, so we've got ourselves a load of cobalt. Right, let's get somewhere that's a little bit flat. We need to have some flat land for this to work. Okay, um, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, get my train minute blade. Get me out of this freaking hole. Dum -dum 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 -dum. How, how deep is this mountain go? All right, fine, we're coming out there. Let's see if we can find ourselves some flat land. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. Yeah. Just here, this will bloody do. Alright, cool. So I'm going to put down my refiner. Just a pal, like that. And now I want to put down another refiner. Boom. Like so. I need one metal plating. Alright, fine. So if I make a couple of metal platings. Dun, 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 dun. I make four metal platings. And then I'm going to put down an... Ah, now what I need to do is go over to this refiner, put in it what I want to duplicate. So here we are. Let's go and find that lovely, lovely S-Class shield module. Stick that in there. Right, okay. Now, if I go and put another one of these refiners exactly on top of this other refiner, like that. Chicka boom. Don't mind if I do. Uh, it has to be right on top. Exact match. There we go. Boom. And then I get another one. Do the same again. Like that. Power. And another one. Like so. Now I don't know whether they've patched this out. So this is a good little test. And can I do one more? Yes, I can do one more. Do that again. Boom. And I think I've reached my limit. Yes, I have. But I haven't reached my... Uh, I, I didn't have any more metal plates. And if I go over, and just use R3 to pick them back up. One, two, three, four. And look at that. I've now just got myself a shed load of freaking shield modules, which I can go sell at the station. So we're going to be going up there in a minute. Anyway, let's put down one of these anyhow, because uh, I need to put the cobalt in there, don't I? Here we are. Let's put the cobalt in. Where are you, lovely cobalt? Doodly do. Cobalt, stick that in there. Fuel this with a little bit of carbon. Lovely jubbly. Now that little cheat that I just showed you works with anything. You can duplicate pretty much anything inside of game. So if you do find that you're running short on something, boom! Hey presto. Dundly and done. It's like if I don't quite get enough ionised cobalt out of here, I could just duplicate some ionised cobalt. Now I've managed to refine some. Heck yes. Anyway, how much ionised cobalt do I blinking need to craft that little gem of the skies? 100! I think I'm quite close to that right now. So let's go into here then. Let's get that 100 out of there. Come on, work, damn you! Okay, we're on 75. Bully, 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 bully! Come on. Any second now. I say any second. I'm not too sure how many seconds it's going to take. But there we go. Boop. Grab that. Might as well hit stop on there. Yeah, you know, we'd have the additional two of those. We'd have the 241. Why the fudge not? Alright, you're coming with me, portable refiner. Lovely. Now where's my ship? My ship is all the way over here. Well, I say all the way. It's not far, is it, to be fair? And we might as, might as well, might as well, inside of here, craft that lovely gem. Chicka boom! You're done! Hey, okay, Kishwa. Uh, it hasn't popped yet, but we can pop that badge. There you go. Now it has. Seed of power. Hold on. I've already just made the seed of power. Yeah, uh, okay, cool. There we go. The seed of will is done. Hold on. Why does it say seed of power and then seed of will? And uh, what's going on? All right, let's go back into the expedition. Oh, okay, seed of will. Maybe I read it wrong. Done. Fragmented qualia. Activated idiom. It's all mine. Thank you very much. Lovely. Okay. Now what? Now what? Now what? Have I got to do on the old expedition? I've got to earn those nanites. Well, let's go on up to the station. Let's go and earn those nanites, because I think I can just sell those S-Class shield modules now, people, inside of the viewer the ones I just duplicated into existence. Now, there's quite a lot of way of earning actual legit nanites. I showed you a couple, like spinning, you know, runaway mould and stuff. Anyway, let's, um, let's, let's interact with this. It looks like we've got one of these to do as well. Hello there, mate. Yeah, cool. Yeah, give us that code. I've already managed to translate all of these with help from that Bonmer boy and many other places. Full credits can be found in a video that I'm going to stick up there, people. So go and hit that video up and look at the video description for all the people that helped out with the deciphering of all this stuff on screen because there's a lot of people there, people. right -o. and there's like an in-game ARG that people are getting involved in. So if you've done all this and you are looking for something else to get you... You're still like, you know... 
evaporative juices going and doing stuff inside of No Man's Sky. It's a good way to do it. There we go. We've got ourselves a shed load of adamantium or whatever that stuff is. Where's the station? Station's over there. We're heading to the station. Heck yes, we are. And I've got all that augmentation to install as well. Now, okay, it looks like I'm going to run out of pulse fuel. Let's get that recharged then. Lovely, jubbly. Right, well, I see inside the station. It's going to take me a while to get there. Oh, people, another one is um, platinum. If you stick platinum in your personal refiner, that's also going to turn into nanites. There we go. Let's get that beginning anyway. Well, I've got, what, two there or something mental? Is that all I'm getting? For fudge sake. I think they've I think they've nerfed that slightly. Anyway, we've arrived located at the station. I haven't quite flown in there yet, people, but I thought I'd show you that as well. Other things that spin into nanites, you've got um larval cores, which you can get in the ocean sometimes. No, larval cores you get at abandoned buildings. It's um the hadal cores that you get in the oceans, which I was just in the oceans earlier, so I could have just got some hadal cores while I was inside of the ocean. That you might want to look into doing, um, but yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, fly into here, and uh, let's go sell some of those modules that I probably don't really need. Uh, haha. Um, yeah, I've got five of them, and I can install maybe two. I can install two and sell three. I think that's what I'm probably going to do, and hopefully it's going to give me enough. We will see. Let's go on up and let's get some storage done for my person first. Then, lovely. Boom. Hello, little geck dude. All right, fine, and I might as well. I'm going to put it inside the tech area this time, people. Might as well, bang. All right, and again, please. And I'm going for the tech area again for this slot. Sorry, mate. Heck yes, douche. And now I might go back down here. Let's unlock some of those. Bang, 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 bang. Lovely and jubbly. And I'm going to install at least one of these inside of here. Bang. Why is that broke? Okay, we'll take that out then. All right, fine. And that's not going to sell for as many nanites now, people. Um, Packaged ones don't sell for as much. You, you don't get much from at all, in fact. There we go. Let's go into here then, and uh, let's uh, sell the rest of them. Yeah, I want to sell... I just thought it. I'm going to sell that as well. I'll sell that. We're going to get 480 for it. Actually, that, that's not too bad. But that shield one that I just got, nothing for that. Shield modules there. Let's sell those. And we'll sell that as well. I know that's gone well over what I needed, but we're, we're good. We're freaking nanite rich now. Awesome. Let's go on over to this one. Let's go over to Ship Outfitter. Let's install the ship ones. Upgrade Starship. Apply Augmentation. And I'm going to stick it down here. We haven't had much tech coming in for there. You know what? Let's do let's do a couple in here. Bop, bop. And then we'll go down here. We'll do the rest of them. Done. Done, done, diddy. That's pretty much it. Why hasn't that badge popped, though? Oh, it has. It has popped. There we go. We've got that. Lovely! Nice! Brilliant! And this is the phase three done because we're now going to pop this one. Lovely! Crystallized drone plans. What the fudge is crystallized drone plans when it's at home then? Oh, it's the base parts, isn't it? Those snazzy crystals, these things that you can stick at your bases, base decoration parts. Alright, fine, we've got some of them then. Lovely. And what's that pre-packaged thing that it just gave me? Where'd that go then? Where'd that go? Where is it then? Um, oh, there it is. Bang. Auto-charged launch thruster. Okay, cool. Let's uh, stick that over by a vat, shall we? I think we shall. Done! Dusted. That's a little bit low on fuel. Let's get that fueled up. Bang. All right. There we are, people. That's pretty much... Oh, it would have auto-charged, to be honest, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, well, I think that's that done, though. That's um, that's that all done, then. That's phase three done, phase four next, then phase five, and hopefully we're going to get this done. Now, I have heard that there are mission blockers in phase five, some sort of community thing. I've paid it very little attention in, in it, all of its form and glory or whatever, mainly because I'm hoping early part of this week we might even get some more patches, some more fixes, and maybe that might not be a thing by the time I touch on this uh, on Phase 5. Kind of why I'm taking it, I'm not really going at this hammer and tong, not like I normally do. I'm just sort of going at it and just doing it in my own time. Anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.